Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to you today. My name is Gordon Dow. I'm the head of infectious disease at the Moncton Hospital, and I've been asked to speak with you briefly about the precautions and measures we're taking in New Brunswick hospitals to uh, deal with the COVID-19 outbreak. Um, we are doing a very large repertoire of responses. The first of these is that we have an assessment clinic at the hospital that's been running for almost a week now so that patients can be tested in a safe fashion outside of the emergency department and people come to this clinic, many of them with parking lot assessments so that they can be quickly assessed and tested to see if they, they have COVID-19. And we have been successful in identifying a case so far this week with that assessment clinic. The other thing we've done is we have restricted visitation. And so visitors cannot come except under very specific circumstances. And we have active screening at the doors so that there really are only two access sites to the hospital for visitors. And they will be asked to stop at a desk inquired as to whether they have any signs or symptoms of infection. If they do, they won't be allowed to hospital, uh, allowed to enter the hospital. And, uh, and patients that are uh, safe to come into the hospital be, will be allowed in, and they're given a sticker with a green check mark on it. Uh, the second thing we do is social distancing. So even in the hospital, we've asked uh, those, uh, all people here to maintain a six foot distance from one another. The third thing we've done is we've, uh, ask that people not come to the hospital emergency department unless they have a serious problem. And if you're not sure if your problem is serious, call 811. Now for those people who have a serious medical problem, uh, whether it's respiratory or otherwise, uh, you can still call 811. And remember, if it is uh, extremely serious and you don't have time to call 811, then you would call 911 and come straight to the emergency department. If you do come to the emergency dis uh, department and you have been identified as someone who has fever and respiratory infection, you will be greeted by people wearing personal protective equipment. And that involves a mask, goggles or face shield, a gown and gloves. And you will be escorted uh, very quickly uh, into the triage area. And, and then from there, it, you will have a rapid assessment in the emergency department. Uh, with people using full protective equipment. And then they'll decide from there what is required. Just so that you know, uh, the emergency department has been carrying out simulations and have been uh, working very hard to make sure that this is done is in, in an efficient and safe manner. Um, the other thing that has been done is we have uh, enhanced environmental services. So cleaning and housekeeping has been at a very high level at this hospital for a long time, but it has been enhanced even further because this virus is picked up by contact. So things that you touch with your hands can very quickly lead to infection, and this virus is viable on uh, porous surfaces for uh, about up to a day, and for non-porous surfaces uh, for three days. Um, you also should know that we have a, an adequate ventilator supply our supply of personal protective equipment is adequate. Uh, we have an acute respiratory infection response team uh, that will deal with uh, patients who have febrile respiratory infection. We have a dedicated ward for those patients, and the teams have already been trained on uh, managing those patients. Our employee health department has enhanced um, guidelines for uh, looking after our employees. Uh, all elective surgeries have been discontinued. The ambulatory care department has been restricted to urgent cases only, and laboratory testing has been rationed as well. So all of these measures are designed to make sure that our patients get state-of-the-art care and that our employees and other patients will be protected from getting infection leading to COVID-19. Thank you very much.